I remember when we finished school, my mother asked me, now what are you planning to do? Are you starting to find a job? I thought it is the only way of making it in life. Mm -hmm. I thought it is what I have gone to school to study for. I have the papers, I need that job. Actually, it is the perception and the pressure from the parents because they were like, we educated you, we expect you to get a formal job, you know, eight to five job. So I tried to find job in manufacturing companies, but I didn't get any job. So I gave up and decided to come back home. It is the best decision I ever made. I am satisfied because I'm self-employed. I control myself. It is me, the boss. I know what to do and when to do. That feeling makes me happy. And also that satisfaction of the income that I get from my shamba. And I'm able to even pay three employees comfortably makes me happy. If youth are trained on agribusiness, I think they will gain more interest in it. Yeah and they will not want to go to the urban areas because they just think of agriculture as tiresome, they think farming is manual, they think farming, because they have the mentality of our parents, the old age farming methods is what they have in mind and it scares them. There are so many opportunities around here and we also need those degrees back here and we want to encourage them to know that there is agribusiness. The agriculture we used to know is long gone. Now things are agribiz. Agriculture for money. My friends and my peers, most of them make fun of me because they, they, are, they tell me hey, you, you don't know how to wear heels, you've forgotten everything. But my favorite shoe is the gumboot. <laughs> it's my swag. <laughs> <laughs>